Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Um, this is just pretty much going to be me talking about um, the Free Me Pump and the benefits of it for teachers um, or basically any working woman, especially if you're on your feet a lot and you don't get a lot of um, breaks to pump and sometimes your schedule is not always the same sometimes it loops and curves so in this video i'm just going to be talking about the free me pump so i'm going to insert some clips um, or some photos of different times that i used my free me pump over probably the last few weeks um, so this pump is awesome um, as you'll see in the pictures and in the short video clips, it is a small motor that fits in my hand. Went to the store the other day. Number eight is up. that you can clip onto your pants um, and you can wear it. Um, it also um, has a tube that goes into the connector pieces and you wear them inside of your nursing bra. So you definitely wanna make sure that you have a stretchy nursing bra when you're using the Free Me Pump because when you stick it inside of your bra, it is going to um, take up quite a bit of space. So you wanna do that. Um, with some shirts, I can get away with it and it's not very noticeable. Sometimes I'll have my jean jacket on as seen in one of the um, videos that I'll insert and it's not noticeable at all. Other times I like to throw on a scarf and wear it, especially if I'm in my classroom um, pumping, I'll throw on a scarf over top of my shirt and wear it like that. Um, another great thing about it is um, it's not, it doesn't need to be held by you and um, it's not very noisy. Um, I have used it in the classroom while teaching. I do not recommend using it during a read aloud or during a spelling test where your classroom is completely silent. <laughs> I have done that and um, uh, it's not extremely noisy, but it does um, make a little bit of a sound. So you don't know if you'll have students asking you what the sound is. So I do not <laughs> recommend using it during spelling tests or any kind of test or during read alouds where there's not much um, noise from the students um, and you're the one talking, I don't recommend that. <laughs> um, but other than that, it's wonderful. I've had to use it quite a bit and you'll see in this video clip, um, my schedule was not always the same these last few weeks. We actually took a trip, a field trip to a theater. So, um, the I wasn't able to have a planning period to go pump or my normal lunch break to go pump. So having this pump saved me. I'm telling you, it really saved me. Um, while we were at the field trip, my students were in the theater watching the um, the play and I left and went to the bathroom, put my pump on and went back into the, the theater, watched the play with them with the... Left it on until we, um, because the, the play was only about an hour long, I left it on for about 30 minutes um, and left it, the, the Free Me Cups in until like, we got back to the school building and then I took them off. Um, the Free Me Pump does have four dots for the battery and usually I would say a, a good 30 minute pump takes up half of the battery. Um, so you can pump twice if you're going to pump for 30 minutes. You can pump twice without recharging it. 
um, so if you need to go out you can do that but it does use a normal like phone charger so for like a, a Android phone so if you need it to charge it in your car you could do that with your car battery um, and and that's how cool it is I, I love the freemium pump um, also on the day that I had the field trip I had to wear because I was thrown off schedule with pumping I had to wear it during lunch um, I've actually had to wear it during recess a few times when my students were at recess I wore it outside during recess um, and because my partner teacher and I do incentives for students so that they can eat lunch with us if they have good behavior um, I've had to wear it during lunch um, with my students um, watching a movie and having a picnic style style lunch um, with me in the classroom so I totally recommend the Freemie Pump for any teacher. I actually talk a lot about it um, to my coworkers and one coworker in particular who is pregnant and getting ready to have a baby in the next few months. I told her the benefits of it and because she saw how well it worked for me and how I was able to pump at so many different times throughout the day without being confined to one space, um, and having to expose myself, she actually went and ordered the Freemie pump for herself for when she has her baby. So I am swearing by this pump, guys. I think that it is amazing and I recommend it to anyone who is a teacher or any other career where your schedule is crazy. So I'm gonna show you guys what's in my pumping bag that I take to work with me. So this is my pumping bag. I just use a bag that was given to me by my doctor's office and I'll show you what's in it. So I usually, every night I pack, um, after I wash my creamy cups and let them dry, I'll put both of them in here. So um, this is two separate pieces. It's the top and the bottom. And then inside, which connects to here, there's a like spongy rubbery piece and a plastic piece that connects to it. I'll show it to you. I'm gonna try to show it to you, sorry. So there's this plastic cup piece and then there is a spongy piece inside of here this is a plastic piece and then the suction piece at the bottom okay so there's that this might be the standard cup size this is a a 25 yeah that's a 25 so if you need like a bigger um, nipple size you might have to request that or get a different piece but this was a standard one and it's fine. It works fine for me. So there's two of those. I normally keep them in a bag so that you're not contaminating them. And then it comes with the motor, which looks like this. And this is what I was talking about with the four um, little dots for the battery. Usually if I pump for 30 minutes, it uses two dots. So I'm guessing that this has a battery life probably of an hour. And then you can adjust the suction, like how much you want it to suction. So if you don't need a lot of suction, your motor is going to be quieter. But I usually turn the suction up all the way. And then I usually will let it stay at full speed for a little while, for a couple minutes. And then I'll usually turn it down twice. And that's how I work my pump. That's usually the setting I have it on. And then... It has this little part right here, and this is for a typical charger that you would use for an Android phone. It plugs just right in there, and you plug it into the outlet, and that's how you charge it. It does come with the charger for the Freemie pump, and then it comes with this tubing. Now, guys, this tubing is kind of long, so when I have to wear See how long that is these two pieces connect into the pump and then that hangs out so when I'm wearing this if I don't tuck the cord the cord will hang all the way down to my calf 
Um, so of course you don't want that to be hanging out because you don't want everyone to know your business, what you're doing. So normally I tuck it up and I'll ravel it around and inside of my nursing tank. And my nursing tanks are tight. I have one on now. So it'll hold it in there without a problem. Now, what I did have to do is I had to buy this off of Amazon. And this is made by Medela. I love Medela. Um, this is made by them. This is like a little insulated pouch for your milk. So I bought this off of Amazon. It came with the freezer. Um, pack which keeps your milk cold and four of these bottles so whenever I'm done pumping I normally just pour them out because there's a little hole right there at the top where you can pour the milk out so I'll normally just pour it into the bottle put the lid on it and put it back in the freezer pouch and then when I come home a lot of the time what I've been doing is just leaving the milk in here my baby drinks four ounces now, so if I need, if I fill it all the way to the top, then I'll just dump it in the other ones, and I'll just put the nipple cap on instead of this one, and just put it in the refrigerator. This has made my life a lot easier, and I don't feel like I'm being as wasteful because I'm not putting the milk in um, milk storage bags anymore and having to throw those away every day, so I feel a little bit more, um, I feel better about being environmentally, um, cognizant of what I'm using so I like I like using this and I also have the Medela cleaning pumps that I use sometimes to clean your pump parts and then of course I just keep using here I never really had to use them but these are like backup nursing pads in case some get wet so that is what is in my pumping bag and these are the parts for the freely pump. or you don't have regular pumping sessions if you are serious about breastfeeding and you want to keep your supply up I recommend this pump and lots of water all right so I hope you enjoyed this video please remember please subscribe um, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you back for the next one bye